Hi, I'm going to show you how to insert a Foley catheter on a male patient. This is the insertion of a hollow tube through the urethra into the bladder for removing urine. This is a procedure which entails a septic technique, which means that we need to do this as sterile as possible because we don't want some complications to set in such as infection or urinary tract infection. So we have here our uh, materials that we need to use. We have, of course, the Foley catheter, which is sterile. We also have a urine bag. We have a sterile um, eyelet and the sterile drape for us to be using that later. We also have a sterile syringe, a 10 cc syringe. We also have the sterile um, gloves of your size, of course. We also have a working glove to be used in preparation for the um, procedure. We also have um, a micro tape. We have three cotton balls with betadine solution and a pickup forcep. We also be needing a sterile water that will be that will serve later as an anchor to our um, foley catheter inside the um, bladder so let's start so let's start our procedure you have to greet first the patient good afternoon sir i'm going to insert to you a foley catheter this is advised by your doctor so that we would be able to remove your urine from your bladder. That way, the patient would be able to understand what would be that kind of procedure that we, you will be making and doing to him. And in that way also, he would be able to give you a verbal consent. So now we are going to expose the penis of the patient. and set up your sterile um, pack here in front. Now you're going to position the leg of your patient in a frog leg position. That means you have to open the both legs, giving you a little allowance in between. Let us start by cleaning the penis. We will be using our working glove Our working glove is not necessarily sterile. This would just serve to protect us from any microorganisms and any body fluids. Now let us get our cotton ball with a septic solution. Grab the penis and start cleaning from the tip in a circular motion and then discard second another cotton ball with sterile solution and then discard and another one from the tip down to the head of the penis and discard. Leave that without touching anything on the penis. And we can start with our sterile procedure. You get the sterile pack and we have already positioned the leg of our patient in a frog leg position, giving you a little um, space in between the legs. We open the sterile pack from outside, assuming that 
the outside part of this pack is unsterile. And then we also have to open it from the outside, not touching the inside of the pack. You need to have your sterile glove, put it inside the sterile pack. You also need to put inside your polycatheter. This one is a two-way French 16 polycatheter. So we can open it. inside out and be careful not to disinfect or contaminate your polycatheter. So we can put this one here inside the sterile pack. That's it. And then we also have the sterile syringe. This is a 10 cc syringe. Okay, everything that is that you can see here is sterile. Now we can start working. Now you can start getting your glove, sterile glove. If you could just remember your open gloving, so what you can do. Maintaining the sterility, sterility of the pack. Now you can grab your Sterile glove. And the other sterile glove. and then get your eyelet and put it this eyelet is sterile making your the penis uh, as sterile as possible and then we have here our polycatheter and you can use this one now you get your fully catheter and roll it in your hand so that there will be no dangling of the tube. And then with your non-dominant hand, you grab the penis and insert your the tip of your catheter into the urethra and up to the bladder. Check once in a while if there is a backflow of urine here in your white port if there is already a if there is no urine backflow you have to push a little more until you see the urine backflow here now if there is already a urine backflow you can kink the white port you kink that one and then hold it with your non-dominant hand get your syringe with sterile water and insert the sterile water into the port so that you are going you can inflate the balloon inside the catheter there should be water inside the catheter and then 
this one the balloon there once it's inflated that will act as your anchor holding the tube in place up to maximum of three days once you're done you can remove it without removing your hand on your kinked white port now you try to tug the catheter and if there is already that um, it will be hard for you to remove it completely then that means it's already inside the bladder and then now you can remove your eyelet don't forget to remove your eyelet as we will now be um, connecting the white port to the urine bag now once the urine bag is connected to the Foley catheter tube the urine will just flow freely into the urine bag and then you put it down below the bladder of your patient because you don't want microorganisms from the urine that will go back to the bladder and therefore um, introducing some um, infection into the urinary tract of our patient through gravity now you are you can put a micro tape here on the leg of the patient so to prevent the accidental removal or pulling of the tube but you have to give a little space in between the penis and the leg so that in the morning when there is erection it wouldn't be very hard for the patient to have that erection in the morning or you can put it here on this side okay and then tape to secure the Foley catheter and now that you're done with your procedure you do the aftercare you get all the things that you used and remove it from the bedside of the patient put the patient in a proper position cover the patient and bid goodbye to your patient and that ends our procedure. Thank you.